ABC, it's Kevin here, uh, WarGod62. I have a vinyl update. This is going to be probably one of four uh, albums from the past three and a half months. So, first off, I'm going to start with stuff I got yesterday. Uh, I heard this uh, a couple weeks ago, and I know this band been, has been around a long time, but when I heard this, I had to pick this up. Uh, more stoner rock band out of Sweden. The band was called The Quill, and uh, I gotta say, this is fantastic. Earthrise, uh, it's on clear vinyl, uh, definitely stoner rock. But, uh, check it out, good stuff. Anyway, I gotta get this glare out of here. Hang on a minute, guys. There we go. So yeah, uh, definitely check out the Quill. They, it, I don't know, they must have, I think they have like nine albums out. Uh, next up, Man Out of Canada, second release. Uh, kind of epic metal, uh, maybe new wave of traditional heavy metal. Uh, but this is their first full length band is called the Blazing Right. I hope you can see that. Uh, this one is called Endless Halls of Golden Totem. Good stuff here. Uh, band out of Germany. It's out on the Metal Blade Records. Some thrash. I believe this is their second or third release band called Space Chaser uh, this one is called uh, Give Us Life uh, only 200 pressed I got number 38 gold black dust vinyl but great stuff Uh, I pre-ordered this a couple months back. Uh, great package. Uh, fantastic production uh, put out on the Inside Out record label. So you know it's more progressive rock, progressive metal. Uh, Kansas. Point of No Return, Live and Beyond. This is a, um, a three album set. back for the three album set. Um, here is the booklet. Uh, inside has all the track listings, all the members. And I was trying to think of uh, doesn't have God, trying to think of can't think of the guy's name who just passed away from Kansas it's in the early Kansas and then there is uh, this particular album and then it has this album here Gatefold just a great package um, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, but uh, definitely, uh, this wasn't actually too pricey. I think I paid uh, 35 for this, and uh, all live material. So definitely, if you see this, or if you like Kansas. Definitely pick this up. Uh, this, these next two are from here. Yeah, this one here. But uh, 
I finally picked up their brand new one here from Cheap Trick. Uh, they just played in Fargo about a month ago. Uh, Another World is their newest. So, they just keep cranking them out at 70 years old. Good stuff. Uh, these I got from uh, Rock and Roll. This one I seen probably a month and a half ago and uh, they were out of stock so I get an email let, informing me when they are back in stock. And this was back in stock. Uh, this is kind of a, uh, a, a two for one album, uh, Wild Turkey and Wolf. Uh, British Progressive Rock Bands, live in concert, 1973. Of course, this one is put out by, I believe it's Made of Ale, probably out of France. Of course, you got Bernie, uh, that is also out of France. But uh, Wild Turkey was recorded in London and uh, Wolf was recorded in Paris. Paris Theater in London. Uh, but anyway, I was glad to have this. And then I, this one was there. I did not have, have this. Uh, the band is called Trust. And the album called Savage. Originally came out in 82. I do believe this is an OG, yes. This is an OG. Yeah. Wasn't overly priced. Some trust. And then I showed this in the CDs, got this on vinyl, Nightwolf, on Killigan Records, Unleash the Beast. Good stuff here, the wave of traditional heavy metal. Here's what's planned. Some synth force. Truth to Promise with uh, Andy B. Frank on vocals. Put out five albums. Now this was a kind of a surprise find for me on uh, YouTube. Uh, trying to figure out which song I heard. I believe it was Hit and Run. This is a band that is on Rock of Angels Records, or ROAR is the acronym. Uh, this is a band called Boondocks, and the album Dead Nation. I mean, look at the cover. You'd think pure heavy metal. I'll tell you what. This is rap metal, but it's not like any other rap metal you'd ever heard. Uh, it is heavy, it's got some fantastic guitar work, um, I don't even know who I could describe these guys to, but uh, I ordered this from overseas because I can't find the album in the States. But uh, rap metal, uh, I'm not a huge fan, but when I heard this I had to have it, and it is solid. Uh, if you're into heavy metal, Maybe with a little rap, definitely check these guys out. Uh, fantastic stuff. Four piece. Uh, love the cover. It has also has uh, Vincent Price from Body Count. So, of course, we know Body Count won a Grammy, but what, that doesn't mean much. But uh, uh, good stuff here. Boondocks. Uh, and then I picked up uh, the latest from Styx. I, sh I showed a a sticks in a uh, uh, record store day update, but I picked up uh, Crash of the Crown from Sticks. Uh, 
great album. Has really some very good progressive rock elements to it. Uh, it's you know if, if you're thinking early sticks in that vein, maybe in some songs you'll hear that. But uh, definitely a great album. Uh, fantastic. I saw them in concert and they were fantastic. Just glad I got to see Sticks in concert finally. So anyway, Crash of the Crown from Sticks. Uh, this come from Rockadrome. I did not have this. I had uh, one of the other ones I got from there. Uh, but I picked up Diamond Head Live at the BBC 1982. Uh, this one is on Atos Records. Again, that's one of the one of the better bootleg labels out there. Uh, great song recordings, as always. I, I, I don't think I've ever heard a bad recording from these labels. But uh, some Diamond Head. And then I picked up, I showed the CD, I, I picked up uh, the vinyl of this. Uh, Starlight Ritual. It has the the silver foil leafing up here, you can see it, I think you can. It's all uh, stock, sealed in starlight. It has uh, the inner, liner notes. Fantastic CD if you like new wave or old school traditional metal, you'll definitely like these guys. It's, it's one of those albums that will grow on you, uh, definitely will. Of course, it's on uh, Temple of Mystery Records. Black vinyl. A lot of great bands coming out of Canada or are in Canada. Uh, just a hotbed for heavy metal. And then I picked up, I think this is album number three from these guys. Self-titled album, Hammer King, it's on Napalm Records. Uh, good stuff, old school heavy metal. Fantastic stuff from Hammer King. This is first first time or first time it's been re-released. It's a re it's a reissue, so I don't have an OG of this. This is put out by Ripple Music. More uh, it's just more in the a doom vein, maybe a little stoner rock area. But to me, this is more uh, more doomy. The uh, band is called Bone Church, and this is their. Well, titled album. I think this originally came out. This came out in 2020, so it's a re-release. But uh, it has seven tracks. Uh, I I interviewed these guys a while back, but uh, I was glad to have the reissue of this. Uh, and this is the one I uh, picked up on vinyl. Uh, their second album from uh, Illinois band Inner Siege, Theory of Ages. Great album, fantastic stuff, can't go wrong. So anyway guys, that is uh, the latest update on vinyl. Again, I have a couple more of these coming up from uh, vinyl for the last three or four months. So, guys, comments leave below and we'll see you next time.